it's Dale here. Today I'm going to show you my favourite printing uh, um, sponge. It's called Compress Sponge. Comes in sheets, little sheets, sheets about this, this thick. As long as it's kept out of moisture and so on, it will be like this. And then when you uh, have your shape all ready, all you have to do is put it in water to activate it. And it grows into a big piece like this. So I've cut, I've cut a little... Um, key and I've also drawn I just draw on this it's easy and I'll show you the other way I like to use it and I'll just cut out my heart shape it's a sort of magic compressed sponge because when you put it into water it grows so I'll just spend a little cut 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 and pop it into water and look at the size of it when it comes out. I just need to dry it off a little bit. Just get it on here to get a bit of that moisture out. Because one of the wonderful things about it is when you use it, this is a, a leaf I did, look at the lovely shapes that you get with it. And so, let's get some of that. While I'm here, I'll put the key into water and you can see that grow as well. then it's all ready to use. I'll just pop it on there. So this is what I'm just going to show you how easy it is to print with. I'm using a piece of um, cardi paper. And you just pop this onto here very gently. You don't want it all full of too much paint. Or This is some Lumiere paint. And then I'll just print it onto here. And just very gentle. Lift it up. And isn't that just glorious? And just to show that it works on this is a piece of old sheeting. So whatever you're using, any fabric. And you can get another one from the same. And there it is. And then you can stitch on it or all sorts of things. And when you finish with it, you pop it back in there and wash it. Um, I'll leave that for the minute. Oh, I'm have working with that colour. Just get the colour out. Maybe a bit of soapy water will clear it all out. I'll do that afterwards so in the meantime I'll just pop that there and I'll show you how else you can use them I, I did lots and I'm going to put this one through the um, through the big shot now this is actually the die that I have for our thread winders um, and it'll just make I'll put it so we because you want to maximize what what you've got and through we go so you can cut shapes from any of the dies that you have. And I have dies with letters and numbers and they're really handy to use. So take that out of here and pull out my shape. And uh, there it is. So you've got stars. And put it in here. It's picked up the green paint, but that's all right. I just love the effects that they have. So let's pop it on here. You can make your nearly four-year-old son a Lone Ranger badge. And then I'll just print it onto my cardi paper. And there it is. Isn't it wonderful? So when you start stitching into this, you've just already got that texture there before you even forget begin and it's forgiving as well and so we'll come back onto the sheet again but any fabric that you're working with or any papers that you've got and up she comes and this wonderful shape here it's bled just a little bit where it was very moist but that's okay and you can stitch into it on you get on hop onto your machine do some free stitching and follow the shapes and things that have appeared out of it just gorgeous there's a bit of gold in here because I mixed the Lumiere gold in with it as well. So there you go. So um, that's, this is another one that I cut earlier. Um, and when it's finished, when it dries, it doesn't go back into its shape, but it does get all dry and, and uh, you know, it looks like it's going to break up. So I can fix that again by just popping it back into water. 
in reactivating it. It takes a little bit longer to reactivate because this has been sitting around in the open air. You know, you should always put them back perhaps into a plastic bag, but I haven't done that. And there it is ready to go. Let's see if we can get anything off it. And pick it up and just pop it on here. So there it is, all ready to go. Very, very easy. I could have it closer together. Oh, I've opened it up. So there you are. I hope that's given you a few little ideas for how to use compressed sponge. It's just really, I really love it. And it's lovely to stitch back into as well. Um, so there you are. See you again next time. Bye.